Sophie's gonna show Brandon how good she has got Finn going slow. I know, and that happens to me too. People might not understand that, but it happened to me. So take a minute to get your crap together, like you told me last week, Soph. Take a minute, take a deep breath, and remember all the things. So exactly how Sophie's brain works. As soon as the room gets filled with people and she gets under pressure, everything just leaves her brain. Brandon, look at that slow horse. Slow, you're on the wrong post angle. You're on the wrong post angle diagonal. So if you don't tell us to look unless you're doing everything perfect. Okay, look, Brandon, quick. Don't judge. Is that what she said? <laughs> Listen, this is huge. Tracks up a little bit. So push the slow by using your legs. Better, Gabby. Using your legs, Sophie, so that he moves out, okay? We keep the same tempo, but we just want to elongate the stride. I don't know what's happening because my ears are plugged. Body back, bone tail. Stay tall. Drive the pommel of the saddle, not the back, right? So, Brendan and Fiona say the same things. They just say it differently. Fiona says, put your shoulders back. Brandon says, put your pony's tail on your horse's butt. Fiona says, push your horses. <laughs> nice of you to show up after all the work is done. Oh, thank you. Okay, so. All the work has been done. I cleaned the poo. I cleaned the poo and I cleaned, put up the jumps. Okay, so Fiona says, move your legs back and forth on the side of the pony. So like when one says, like push, like you're pushing your horse's belly first one leg then the other and Brandon says some other total concoction that I do not even understand so he's like don't don't put all the focus on me I honestly think that the nose net is working as well. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in me, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. So I have allergies and my ears are plugged and I can't really hear, especially like in a building outside I can hear better. So if this lesson is all over the place, it's because I can't hear. Posting, Sophie. Just, yeah. Pat halt without me hearing. Trying. All right, step in, breathe down for a walk. Stand up in your stirrups. <laughs> I don't know that 
are the scary words. Those are the scary words. What does that mean? Or come into the middle for a quick minute. <laughs> yeah, come into the middle for a quick minute always means they're lame. <laughs> no, two points in a minute. I'll mm. just rain. I hear they're both half holes or full holes. Full holes. I think they're half. Oh, I don't know. Who prefers down half holes? <laughs> Half a hole, you said. Half a hole. Now, can you make that horse move over? Without speeding up, think slow, steady. Push over. Every step, think. I'm gonna half halt my body, so close your thighs, sit tall for a half halt. Body tall. Don't, you don't have to breathe out. It's all body language, okay? Good, and then slow, and then move your hips a little further out. So slow your hips again. Tall, and push them out. Push them out, push them out. Eyes up where you wanna go. Body pressure, we have to have the horse listen to your leg aid, right? So with Chino, I'm gonna take Chino for instance. Gabby can go down, she can push with one leg or the other, move them off the wall or onto the wall, right? So that's by softening one aid and closing the other aid, your doors. For yeah, I know. He doesn't. And so, by aids, do you mean reins? Legs. Oh, legs. Aids are leg aids. So it's like a door. Your hands are your doorways. So if you open your rein like this, that is a that's an opening. That's for where his shoulder can step up into. Okay. So as we keep continuing on learning, progressing by re-watching some videos. I know you don't want to, you probably never will. No, she will, we just had to find time. They always have to be a little bit on the fence side, okay? So when you can get this circle, I want you to be able to make this circle bigger with just your legs. Do not touch that outside brain. See, now he's starting to stretch and relax a little bit. So down in your heels, use those calf muscles and push them over. Okay, Soften I get it, I get it. Soften the outside, good. Good, good. That's okay, yeah, that's why, this is why we keep our ring. Hold just contact and just the one ring. This literally, when I break babies, I, can, I spend an hour at the walk. You're standing to listen to one leg. One leg, that's all. Because guess what, the next time I come out, I go the opposite direction and get them to listen to the other aid. Going forward is one thing. Listening to your leg aids is another thing. You have to be able to have it because you have to balance him. And this is what I've been trying to get at by how, having you just slowly use your legs. All winter, before the lockdown, it was this. Pressing over, right? Getting to listen to your legs. Because the more you listen to the legs, the less bridle you have to have, okay? Because then your balance comes from closing those lower legs into your half halt, like Fiona discussed with Gabby the other day, and then recycling your energy in a different way. So this is gonna take the energy from his front end that he has and push it into his back end. But are you feeling any push off that inside leg? Half halt every step. Is it just a dressage show, Paige, or are you doing other stuff? Is it just a dressage show? No, Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Are you like see the stars in the open wild. Catch a glimpse of Panama. We don't need a map. I'll let you know when we've arrived. Yeah. We can travel the Yeah, outside leg, right? Good. There we go. Remember, steering's our outside leg. Steering. Here's the stretch. That's fine. Good. Stand tall. Good. Okay, Sophie. Now, I want you to balance your stirrups. I don't want you to touch his face very much. So this is the one time I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. Better with those reins. Little bit of a loose. Good. Now I want you to come in. I want you to trot over this and then trot over the thing. Close your thighs. Good, that's okay. Stay tall, stay tall. That's okay. That's okay. 
Stay tall and then trot. Don't post. We're standing. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a calf burner for you. A calf burner. Do you know what that is? Good, Sophie. Balance yourself in those stirrups. Take a circle if you have to, okay? Right? If he starts getting rushy, we're gonna take a circle and then balance. Balance your body. Ponytail to his butt. Stay tall. There we go. So this is gonna help you. Always remember, ponytail to the butt next. Stay tall. Close the leg. That's okay. Now, Sophie, if you can stand tall, do you think you can stay tall in your canter? All right, so let's now try this. Let's try this canter, balance, and then ask him for a canter. Okay? You can use the rail. I want you to be able to balance yourself before we do a practice. So this is, yeah. And then just think and ask for a small canter. Good boy, Finn. Good. Don't let him get reefy. Watch those rings. Half halt. Yep. Slow him down so. Good boy. Remember, circles are your friend. The rail is not. If you need to circle, you circle. There's lots of spaces to circle. Good boy. Talk to him. Good. Can you stay up nice and tall? All right. So I'm going to breathe. Breathe back out. Calf burner, that's why. Stay tall. Stay tall. Good. Don't you know that you're beautiful?